Dean, thanks for joining us. We just witnessed a fantastic victory for your under-21 side, beating Colchester 5-0. What did you make of it overall? Yeah, it was a really positive, really positive performance from the boys. Colchester brought a younger team because they had an under-23s game against Derby last night, so it was a mixture of first and second years and first second year pros. But again, we were young as well. The the back four, a central midfielder and a wide player played for the 18s on Saturday, and it was filled up through the 10 in the wide area another central midfield and centre forward with, with first and second year pros. So both sides were young. We were a little bit older, a little bit more experienced. Some of the boys played for the first team, but the performance in the first half was absolutely fantastic. Played within the principles of the academy. Some brilliant combination play in and around the box. Colchester actually started 3-5-2 and we just found the spaces outside the left and right side centre half and in between the central one. And in transition, we were just far too quick and we created numerous chances in the first half. And Deservedly came out of it with a with a high scoreline, which happened to be five three for Justin, one for Fania, and uh, one for Tyler Brown, who's the second year from the 18s. Uh, actually playing at left back, but released into the back post where we've worked on players released into and and uh, yeah, it was a really really good performance in the first half. You certainly kind of went for the throw early on, as you mentioned, lots of lovely play in and around the box. You really caused some problems. The fast start, a plan, or was it just kind of everything falling into place? I gave them two messages in the change room before the start of the game. I said just to be decisive with whatever you do. If you decide that it's the right time to attack, then we should see visibly a change of speed. And that means that this is the time that we have seen something happen that we've decided that this is the time to score. And they did it really well. They picked their moments and there was that change of speed around the edge of the box where we released players, released the ball, and that's where, you know, where, we, where we caused them the most problems. Out of possession, I just said again, be decisive. If you think you can win the football, go and win it. If you can't, just be nice and patient, keep your shape and just wait for the opportunities. Wait for them to present you the ball or wait for them to make a mistake and then look to counter. So it was all about picking your moment, making your decision. And if you do, do it 100% and they did that fantastically. And I think it's fair to say in a 5-0 win, the clean sheet aspect is probably overlooked quite often, but you really restricted them in terms of chances. And I can barely remember Kyle having a save to make. Yeah, he didn't have a save to make. There was a few half chances in the first half where we were slow in defensive transition and took our foot off the gas when it gets to 3-0 and 4-0 and you start to think this is easy and you start to overplay and make mistakes and maybe think well I don't need to recover because even if they do score it's now only 5-1 and that was really the message at half time because it's 5-0 you think oh we can take a foot off the gas we can start to potentially take more touches than we need to and I said to them look you need to take that game put it to the side start a new game now and I know that Colchester's coaching staff had a real strong word with them at half time I spoke to them at the end you know it was kind of archetypal rocket at half time for them because they just stood off us and let us play <clears throat> and they were much better in the second half more aggressive and we still created chances but we weren't as clinical in the final third and I think that psychologically and human nature at 5-0 it's harder to drive yourself harder to think well I've got to take this chance because actually if I don't there'll probably be another one coming along in a minute but again that's a that's a new thing for the boys. Can you keep your foot on the gas? Because suddenly, in a game where it's easy, if a, if a team grabs a couple of goals, it's very hard to then get yourself back on the front foot. So the message from me at the end was, in the future, just to make sure that you keep your foot on. Not necessarily going for six, seven, eight, nine, ten, but restrict them to entries into the final third, play within the principles, and potentially try and score a goal that maybe we don't score very often. Maybe from a cross or a shot from distance. Something different, mix it up a little bit and try some new things. But very positive. Justin got himself a hat-trick, but I think it's worth mentioning as well that his all-round performance is very good. He led the line well. How pleased are you with what his contribution today? Yeah, physically he was very difficult for them to, to handle. Ball into, balls into his chest, balls into his feet were sticking. He was linking the attack well uh, with Nana in the 10 and then with Dan Chima in the 10 in the second half. Played well with the wide men and got himself three goals and two, two very well-taken penalties. Some other chances during the game as well. And uh, I spoke to him before the start of the game and just said that I wanted him to be a centre forward that was happy to come to feet, happy to run in behind. And just to play in those little blind spots that defenders don't like marking. And, and he did, you know, him along with the front four were, were a real threat today. And next week you've got Peterborough United in the same competition. It must be quite nice you're taking the team in the meantime yeah. to have kind of a few fixtures bang, bang, bang now rather than periods of inactivity perhaps in between. Yeah, and they've been crying out for it for ages. They're always saying we want to play in competitive fixtures and now they've got that opportunity. So now it's taking those words and putting it into action. There's been some good performances last week against Gillingham, today against Colchester. 
but it's now recognised that it's a group it's just a group stage format and they have to be on it for every game. I'm not sure what team Peter will bring here. I'm sure it'll be strong. And you know the boys are looking forward to having some competitive games moving forward. Perfect. Thanks, Dean. Thank you.